So here I am on the tenth hole and I'm in between clubs. It's 161 yards downhill, which normally would be a 9 iron, but there's a bit of a breeze up there. So I want to take a smaller 8 iron. Now how do I reduce the power in my swing and yet not kind of interfere during the swing? So there's a number of things you can do. So um, number one, we can reduce the length of the swing. So I remember, you know, Ben Crane used to grip at the bottom of his grip. Obviously it reduces the length of the club. You'd have a number noted for that and he would just hit full swings. So naturally the ball would come out just a tiny bit lower than the usual uh, club because less speed, speed equals height, um, and it would release more. So pretty good shot for a back pin, so let's say it would be 155 yards, 9 iron. But the pins at the back, I could potentially grip down and hit 8 iron. So that's one solution. Um, some people are really good at understanding what, uh, you know, the clock system, kind of the Dave Peltz clock system. I have Mickelson talk about it, um, you know, so maybe a 9 o'clock, 8 iron would be a solution. A lot of people know these two. There's other solutions that really affect how we put energy into the system. So you know, how do we put energy in the system? Well, if I flare my trail foot, for example, it enables me to turn further, which takes my hands further around the circle, which gives me more speed. So one of the things we can do is to square up that front foot. We can also narrow the stance, which reduces the amount that we travel towards the target. So I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for the narrower stance, squared up back foot, eight iron, now, understanding that if we don't use our lower body quite as much, the club has the potential to wrap a little earlier. So I'm gonna open the stance as well. So here we go. So narrow stance, square right foot, kill the greenkeeper. So a little bit open stance and let it go. Pretty good. So I hit one more club, but managed to get the club right by reducing the effect of the ground reaction forces on my swing.